guys. Today I have a Tag Heuer 411 with alarm to show you. And uh, this watch does not belong to me, it belongs to my mate. Uh, he got it and I took a little footage. And I gotta tell you, uh, this is not my first tag, but I wanna address the Tag Heuer hate uh, that the brand got. Uh, all because some of the uh, popular guys uh, said it's a shit and um, everyone else jump on the bandwagon. Uh, there is some truth to it because if you buy a Tech Heuer brand new from Boutique uh, you will pay the Omega price uh, and for the less of Omega quality and just to brand it up. Uh, Tech Heuer does charge premium on their brand new watches uh, and they have uh, generic movements and uh, sometimes they had a uh, back in the days probably in the days of this Formula 1 they had a little bit of a dubious quality but uh, I handled uh, my my other friend had a Tag Heuer link which was fairly new and it was superbly built watch uh, the bracelet was spot on the quality the dial everything was great but we are not here to talk about Tag Heuer link we are here to talk about somewhat vintage Tag Heuer Formula 1 and um, I gotta admit, I always uh, wanted to check out this Formula 1 and uh, I was positively surprised. It's a cool watch, especially when you buy it second hand and I would definitely recommend if you want to buy a second hand watch try to look at the Tag Heuer because you will get so much bang for your buck and value for money that's incredible and he got it as a bargain. He bought it at around 500 I think and uh, it's a great watch. It is a quartz uh, but uh, if you don't mind that, uh, it's a Formula One, so you can buy. A, you can find score a great Aqua Racers. I recently almost bought Aqua Racer, uh, but um, I just wanted to show you the watch. And so here's a little footage, and uh, let's jump right into it. So. Here it is. Uh, this is the Tag Heuer Formula One with alarm. Uh, alarm is very cool. And at first, I thought it's a chronograph, uh, but it's not. It's an alarm. Uh, obviously, it's a quartz watch, uh, and you, it's easy to set alarm. You just press the red button and the down. But uh, I wanna just discuss the overall feel and look of the watch. And when you take it in your hand, it looks very nice. It has a signed crown. I like the case back very much. I like the case back very much. You can see the bracelet has uh, solid end links. Uh, it's all polished, uh, solid links. Uh, nothing to screw to mess there. On the other side, it has a tag horror signed. Uh, and I always find found that a little bit tacky but uh, I, in on this one it, it looks nice uh, what else can I say uh, overall the feel of the watch is great uh, and you can immediately tell it's uh, from a luxury brand and I know the tag wear does not does get a lot of hate but uh, when you buy it on a second hand market uh, I think it's a it's a cool watch and one of the best bank per box especially if you want to you can find them under grand and this one was around 500 and I think it's a good buy uh, sits very very nice on the wrist it's very comfortable uh, the bracelet is brushed and the whole watch is stainless steel uh, except for the bezel I think the bezel is uh, made of plastic but I'm not really sure but when you take it and turn it it feels like it is and uh, that necessarily is not a bad thing and let me tell you why uh, first of all uh, when you scratch the aluminum bezel uh, it will always show the shiny mark on it and if you scratch this one you can easily take care of it uh, another thing I like about their bezel is it's this is somewhat iconic watch and especially because of this bezel and when I see a watch from a distance I immediately know uh, it's a Tag Heuer Formula 1 and that's a that's definitely a good thing uh, because it's not 
in every brand company every brand has uh, every bigger and better brand in my opinion has that has that iconic model and tech Heuer has lots of iconic models of course tag where uh, modern day tag where uh, is going places now but uh, in the 90s it was I think it was the worst part of the brand worst part of the era in the 90s and early 90s uh, that's the time when the lots of lots of um, dubious quality and crappy watches came out but uh, back in the history uh, Tech Hoyer was of course Hoyer and the Hoyer nowadays is very very uh, collectible and sought after I'm, I'm particularly uh, me I'm looking for I'm looking to buy a uh, Hoyer 1550 SG uh, which is uh, one of my uh, watches on one on, on the list I wanna get and but it's really hard to watch to come by uh, especially these days uh, but nevertheless they do have a rich history later on they were acquired it was added tag Heuer and the quartz um, tourage of watches came out uh, one of the best of those uh, ugly course watches was this Formula One and Formula One uh, is iconic cool watch uh, and I can definitely tell you if you find one on the second hand market for around 500 don't pay too too much for it but uh, that that's a decent price or even below even below it's much better uh, you will get a great beater watch if you don't mind quartz and I think that everyone could use at least one quart in your collection just for pinning around and if you have a good high-end collection uh, there's nothing wrong in having a little Formula 1 quart and it's a good starter watch and I, I know that most of the guys who bought uh, a Formula 1 uh, it created their love for watches and later on they when to become on very serious collectors uh, type of the collectors that appear on Hodinki and stuff like that uh, but overall uh, the impression of this watch uh, is that's a solidly built watch uh, there's nothing bad I can say about it uh, I wouldn't buy it on a retail uh, I wouldn't pay retail prices for it but uh, on the second hand market I think it's one of these great bargains and I would definitely recommend checking it out especially if you find a deal uh, so yeah I'm EDC Connor uh, thank you for watching uh, if you like this little video of mine please give it a thumbs up uh, and please subscribe and see you in the next one